Hello friends and welcome to Take Two for this Thursday, the 31st of October 2019. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well, it is the final day of the month. I can't believe it. We're getting ready to go into November. Wow, that's pretty remarkable, isn't it? But you know what else is over now besides the month? Baseball. Major League Baseball has come to an end. Yes, sir. No more of these for a little while. Not until spring training, anyway. But you know what? Last night was the final game of the Major League Baseball World Series. It was a nail-biter. Well, I must say, actually, the entire World Series was a nail-biter. But when the Washington Nationals made that last out in the bottom of the ninth in uh, Houston, Texas, against the Astros, after seven games finishing the entire series, wow, they were tied up at three games apiece, and they did it. They beat them. They beat the Houston Astros in the Houston Astros Minute Maid Stadium. I can't believe it. We never thought that this would happen, although we were hopeful. You see, it's been 95 years since a team from Washington, D.C. has won the World Series back when it was the Washington Senators. And uh, they did play in the 1930s, but again, they lost that one against who? Houston, can you believe it? Well, anyway, so we're watching it last night, and here's what was going on. Well, first of all, let me just tell you a little bit about the Washington Nationals in 2019. At one point, they had lost twice as many games as they had won. That was not good odds, not good odds at all. They had injuries. They had problems. They they had people leaving. They had suspensions. They had all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And then not only that, but they were also playing last night and this whole World Series, they were playing against two of the highest ranked pitchers in all of MLB season 2019 who happened to play for the Houston Astros. And then one more strike against them. They won in the other stadium, they weren't at home when they won last night. They actually lost their two home games. They won all four of their games in Houston. They didn't even win one game at home. So talk about all the odds being against you. But you know what? You know what I think? I think one of the reasons why the Washington Nationals won last night after seven crazy games is this. They went the distance. They had all the odds against them, but they stuck it out and they went the distance. They played all seven games, and guess what? They're taking home the trophy. It was so exciting to watch them all kissing the trophy and just being so excited. There was teamwork there. There was camaraderie. But here's the thing. There was the willingness and excitement about doing it. They had the stick to itiveness, and I think that's one reason if not the reason why they're taking home that trophy, sticking to it and going the distance. So boys and girls, are there things in your life where you're saying, oh my gosh, all the odds are against me. There's absolutely no way I could ever do this or do that or, or succeed at this or guess what? The Washington Nationals won the World Series. <laughs> Who'd have thought, huh? Hey, listen, go out and be a blessing to somebody today. You might be the only one who is. And let me say this. If you know somebody who's struggling, saying the odds are against me, I'll never get this done or I'll never succeed at that, you remind them with all the odds against them, the Washington Nationals went the distance and made it all the way to the winner's circle of the World Series. Hey, we may not have to accomplish anything that huge, but I'll tell you what, there are maybe little victories that we need. Remember, nothing's too hard for God. And if you stick to it, it's not too hard for you, okay? Now, join me tomorrow, don't forget, for uh, Take Two 
for the Friday edition, which of course is my unsung hero of the week. And of course, you don't want to uh, miss any of these take two. So why don't you become a subscriber? Go to YouTube and punch in J E A N N E S I G L E R. Hit the subscribe button, and you will be notified if you hit that little bell every time I post another take two. Okay, play ball. Well, no, not until the spring, I'm afraid. But I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, and be safe.